This morning, as we continue our series, Early in Gotham City, we talk with the actor who recreated an iconic superhero. Christian Bale is back as Batman in the highly anticipated film, The Dark Knight, where he's once again asked to put his life on the line for Gotham City. Rachel spends her time with us, her business. I trust you don't have me followed on my day off. If you ever took one, I might. Know your limits, Master Wayne. Batman has no limits. Well, you do, sir. Well, can't afford to know him. And what's going to happen on the day that you find out? We all know how much you like to say, I told you so. On that day, Master Wayne, even I won't want to. Christian Bale is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can I just tell you how much I enjoy the scenes with you and Michael Caine? Well, I'd very much like it if you told me that. Yeah. yeah. Really great. I think it's just... Thank you. In, everybody is... We have this picture of Heath Ledger right behind you as, right. as the Joker. Yeah. But I think in order for him to work, your, your character has to have that much more credibility. Right. And those scenes with Michael Caine especially, I think, make him so much more real. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, obviously we've had the, the, the origin story with Batman Begins. We've learned uh, uh, why Bruce Wayne chooses to create the uh, creature of Batman. And uh, then we have uh, three really very different personalities. And uh, uh, with uh, Michael Caine's character, Alfred, and uh, Rachel, uh, you see the uh, genuine side to Bruce Wayne, yeah. uh, the very personal and uh, quite, a lo quite lonely figure. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have the uh, playboy billionaire who uh, Gotham sees, who is, the, who is the true farce, you know, that is the true fake. Right. And then you have the Batman who is actually real as well, you know, mm -hmm. but which is uh, Bruce Wayne's means of challenging his rage yeah. and enabling him to have something of an ordinary life. Right. Speaking of challenges, though, when you get to do, ready to do a second movie, what is the biggest challenge to you, personally? Um, well, I have to make sure that, uh, you know, obviously I know the character very well, but that we're exploring something new. Um, we're not just treading water, and uh, you get to see a different side uh, to the character. And in this case, what it is, is that in the original one, he was striving to have the power to affect change within Gotham, and now he very definitely has that. Mm -hmm. So you have the burden of responsibility of somebody who has that power and what quite he should do with it. And there are these great scenes where Batman is standing on top of these giant buildings mm -hmm. in Chicago, for instance, mm -hmm. and I thought to myself, well, he never would have done this. Damn straight I did it. And then I looked through the production notes, you stood on top of the Sears Tower. Yeah. What was that like? How often do you get a chance to do that in a Batman costume looking out over Chicago? I'm going to take that opportunity. 110 stories up, looking over the edge straight down on the street. I'm not letting anybody else do that. Serious? Yeah. And so you're there. What is it? I can't imagine it. I mean, I've climbed mountains. I've done all kinds of stuff. In a million years, you could not get me to stand on the edge of a 110-story building. Well, you probably shouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> is there a, a way to describe that sensation? I mean, did you feel comfortable I tell you the thing that uh, was kind of disturbing but enjoyable was how comfortable I felt you know it literally took 30 seconds and uh, after a while I was able to look right up and look around and lean right over the edge and uh, uh, attempt to make uh, all the uh, producers as nervous as possible I had read so much about Heath Ledger yet when I sat down to see the movie I was still completely amazed at his portrayal it was of, yes. of a place that I had no idea he knew about or anybody knew it's really, it's really quite stunning. Yeah, no, it's something very new. I think it will be a real classic uh, portrayal. Um, it's a very uh, kind of Sid Vicious Punk, um, anarchic uh, uh, look at it, uh, very creepy. And uh, he did a phenomenal job with it, a real uh, fierce, uh, fierce um, uh -huh. uh, portrayal. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much. What a great ride. This is really a great ride, this movie. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Christian Bale. Now here's Maggie.